Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we're all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share us with your network. All right, so spring is here in some places. It's still snowing in other places. And we are time now to pull out that drab browns, blacks, and everything. And it's time to add some color to our wardrobes. But the question is, what color do you wear? Am I cool? Am I cold? Am I warm? Who knows? But I have a friend who's going to help us with that. Y'all say hello to my friend, Shirley Zacchio. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Ricky. Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me here with you today. I'm excited. I'm excited that you're here because now is the time. I'm sick of the blacks and the navies, and I'm ready for some color. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you do and who you do it for. So I am what you affectionately call a personal image consultant, and I specialize in color analysis. And that means bringing all your best colors to you. So your pink is not my pink. Your red is not my red. Your yellow is not my yellow. So I help you walk in your best moment right now. Not when you lose the 10 pounds, not when you, you know, get all that stuff. Right now, I help you honor you because we give it away all day long, right? As entrepreneurs, as partners, as spouses, as moms, as dads, as whoever we are, we give it away. So I give you the power to give yourself those 10 minutes every single day to get dressed, get up and honor yourself and then give it away. I love it. So it's not just giving it away, but giving it away looking fabulous, I'm guessing. All the energy and power because colors have energy and it's 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 life forming. It's like you can't you can't not, you know, when you put your best outfit on Ricky and you mm -hmm. go, I look good today. That's what I get <laughs> to give you every single day. I love that because so many of us struggle with a couple of things. What do you want to have for dinner? And oh gosh, what should I wear? Mm -hmm. What is it that we should be looking for to wear? Cause you said the colors have power and energy. Can you talk to us a little bit about colors and power and energy? Absolutely. Um, so we'll take, well, okay, so red. So all colors have those meanings, right? Uh, red, energetic, um, dynamic. Uh, we think of red, we think of stop. We think of clearance sales. We think of emergency. We mm -hmm. think of passion. We think of love, right? So mm -hmm. all of those colors evoke, or all those energies are invoked inside of colors. Um, mm -hmm. I often coach my clients not to wear red to any type of real big interview or power meeting, unless you really mm -hmm. want to set that tone for red, because mm -hmm. red is a blood pressure um riser right so it's an antagonistic wow. color as well so if you really want to bring that attitude great rock your red but maybe in a small thing um we've talked about black before black is a power mm -hmm. color right but it's also it has the negative connotation so those word associations that are tied to colors are energies so mm -hmm. that's what i'm talking about with colors have energy you can't be unhappy when you're looking at yellow i dare you you oh, know wow. unless it's a color that you really don't like but when you see yellow you go oh you know you get that little spark in you sure. and so that's what you want to bring to moments it, it conveys in your homes it conveys in your messaging and your branding you know what is your brand saying about you what is your brand message and are your colors sending that same message in your business as well so color has everything to do with pretty much i mean it i say it has everything to do with everything yeah but you know you're a little biased you're that whole color thing girl <laughs> but that is so funny because we think that everybody can wear every color like okay so red is my favorite color and yeah. i wear i have a lot of red um, but I wear it differently. Like I may wear a, an all red dress depending on the occasion, but sometimes it's a red scarf. It's my red pumps with a cute red bag because I love a bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you said your pink isn't my pink. Me personally, I don't consider myself a pink person. Now, what would make someone say that? You know, I don't like pink or pink's not me or yellow's not my color. What do you think that people think are thinking when they say stuff like that? Sometimes it's a psychological tie. Um, when I'm talking with customers, if there's an aversion to a color, I try mm. to break it down saying why. My daughter will tell you that she really, my oldest daughter really will tell you that she doesn't like pink because as a child, you know, wearing pink all the time because girls clothes, pink, 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 right. pink. And she really doesn't care for the color now. And mm. so 
there's an aversion to colors um, tied to special moments in our lives. Your wedding color is a very special color. The, mm -hmm. Your school colors are very special colors to you. So a lot of times those are stories that are embedded in you. I, I share mm -hmm. the story. Lime green is one of my favorite all-time colors. Yeah. And it, it's tied to a story with my grandmother of coloring in her home in the in the summertime. And it was a color that I just colored consistently with. So it it ties me back to my grandmother. Mm. So colors have emotions and stories tied to them. And that's what, what usually that's where it is. So we break that down and say, okay, let's try to bring it to you in smaller batches. Cause it may be a yeah. very, very good color for you to wear. Let's mm -hmm. do it in a pattern. Let's do it. in maybe just a scarf, like you said, or a right. button or something like that. So we can bring those colors in that you're not fond of mm -hmm. in a different way. I'm not saying drip in it from head to toe, <laughs> um, but red is a very red power suit is very on trend this season so you can oh. wear it head to toe and go for it yeah absolutely yeah that's all i need is another excuse to yeah. stand out i'm just yeah. saying it's okay it's a walk in the room like you own it it's all good <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right so you were saying also that sometimes some people it's it's just not their color now right. that doesn't mean that they can't wear it it just it has more to do with their skin tone or something yes. correct yeah absolutely so um when I do a color analysis, I usually work primarily with your skin tone, your eyes and your hair, because we're pretty much looking, we wanna be looking at you, right? We wanna draw the attention to you, to your words, to your message. So I want your skin to glow. I want your hair to pop. I want your eyes to twinkle when I'm talking to you. So the colors that we think we might wanna wear, we might wear as a pant instead of near our face because it really can cast the wrong glow. Like myself, I cannot, I cannot wear chartreuse. I cannot wear mustard yellow. And I have a funny story. My next door neighbor, I was bringing my daughter over for a babysitting um, event one night. And she just looked at me and she's like, ooh, are you not feeling well? And I said, what, what are you talking about? And she's like, you look like you have jaundice. And I said, <laughs> what are you talking about? And this was like, she's 30, my daughter's 34 now. So this was when she was really little before I was doing image consulting. And now I know why that mm. color just sets off the wrong tone. And I don't look healthy in certain colors. Mm. And that's what we're always about is giving ourselves that extra boost of healthy glow. So that our words and our message matter the most. Yeah. And, and that's so interesting. You said, because so many of us, especially like say in our black and Hispanic communities, our shades of Brown are from, you know, light to dark chocolate. All and the way. just because somebody can wear a red or a blue or a yellow doesn't mean everyone in that same, you know, right. can, can do the same thing. Right. So how do you, how would you go about, I can't say diagnose, but that's the word that came to mind. How do you <laughs> go about analyzing somebody's colors that they can yeah. wear? So I drape them. I use a series of drapes. I use a series of um, chips that we use to match up the skin tones and no chip, just like any foundation, no chip or foundation is the exact tone, but it gets us very close and it gets us into a family. And then again, I take um, the hair analysis and I take the eyes into components because your eyes have just as much as your skin tone, different flecks, and you can pull out the colors in your eyes and those can be accent colors. So there's a lot to it. It sounds complex, but it, I love doing it. There's a revelation every single time I do a new client and we're just really narrowing you down into a series of, um, seasons like we say they're right. autumn winter spring and fall or I said that twice winter <laughs> summer spring and fall gotcha. and um and then those colors like um this is a winter palette this is my palette so this is what I create for my clients oh, wow. mm -hmm. so yeah so these are I call them the drama colors because you know I have contrasting dark hair and skin so then we nail down all those fabulous fabulous colors for everybody and we get your signature color and then if it's for business we talk about okay what is your branding message and let's pull mm -hmm. those colors and what those colors mean for you so it's a it's quite the complex system but it's so much wow. fun. it's super easy and fun for the clients I, I love it man that is just so interesting because you went from business you, you know your personal I need to put on a jacket and run to the store to now all of a sudden it's my business and my branding what mm -hmm. is my message saying in colors mm -hmm. absolutely you walk out the door you're representing whether you work for someone Mm -hmm. or whether you are solo entrepreneur, you represent the brand every single time you walk out that door because somebody's going to see mm -hmm. you and go, oh, I know you from, or you're that person that has, or if you're a networker like I am, you've met somebody, you're going to run into somebody and they're mm -hmm. going to remember that. So why not get up and get dressed and represent you first and then 
your brand if that's the path that you're on because you are the brand there's no two ways about it you could have the best thing that's going to fix my life from head to toe but if I see you in a particular not your best day I'm going to remember that (laughs) you know um I delivered makeup once to a client Mm -hmm. without any makeup on it was my day off wow and that was the first thing she said she's like you don't have any makeup on I was like "Mm, didn't do that again yeah I I represented my business you know Right. So you, so you're always, if you're in business, if you're a solo entrepreneur or you're representing a company, mm-hmm. you're the brand. That's yeah. what they're going to remember. That is so true. You know, it makes me think of, you know, I've moved around a country a lot, being a military spouse and everything. And everywhere I go, I look for a couple of things. The first thing I look for is a church. The second thing is my hairdresser. And so when I'm going, you know, and, and checking out hairdressers, I, the first thing I'm looking at is their hair. Their hair. Yeah. So if you're like, oh yeah, I'm a master hairdresser and you look a hot mess. I'm like, really though? Are you? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I used to be in a salon. I used to have my business inside of a salon and mm-hmm. you know, the hairdresser that doesn't ever get their hair done because they're always busy. Sure. The, the nail text nails that are never done because they're always doing everybody else, but you're representing the brand. Yeah. So I told, I totally get that. So there's, there's time. So I, I went out for a ribbon cutting today and I was like, okay, it's my day off. Nope. I got to get dressed from head to toe. There's a casual way of doing it too. So we can also compartmentalize your um, Mm -hmm. wardrobe into your casual, your business, your formal attire so that you have this capsule is always ready to go for whatever. This capsule is your business attire for those networking and presenting nights. And then, you know, your other um, events so we can have those capsules ready in your wardrobe. So it's like one, two, three, I'm dressed, I'm out. Wow. See, so far you are speaking my language because I'm of the mind, if it comes on one hanger, that's for me. I can yeah. throw shoes together, but oh my gosh, the pulling it together and, you know, making it look like it all matched. Um, you know, I, yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, it's just too much work for me already. So now do your colors in your skin and your colors that you wear, do they change as you get older? Because are you wearing the same colors when you're 15, 22, 35, 65, 70? Do they change or they, does it stay consistently over time? There's a couple different processes in that, um, like when you're younger, you may have been a toe blonde. My mother was a natural redhead, so I had way more red in my hair. And our hair changes as our bodies change and as whatever we go through in life. But when you're really focusing towards more the skin, because Mm -hmm. I could turn my hair blue tomorrow, then what do I do? I'm in a different season altogether. And one time I came back from North Africa blonde and it wasn't cute, but it happened. (laughs) And, you know, everything changed. Um, But for the most part, Only as we mature Mm -hmm. and our skin changes as we mature, it's not going to throw you into a complete other seasons where we may just tone down some of those shades of our signature colors, but it really won't throw you because your winters and your summers are cool categories and your autumns and your falls are warm categories. So you never really cross um, genres in that Mm -hmm. that way. So, um, you know, women of color, we, we change our hairs constantly, you know, we can, we can you know, we see it all the time in the community. So that's why I focus more on the eyes and the skin, because those, those are going to be with you for a long time. We'll just teach you how to change them a little bit to work with you. Oh, that's neat. So men or women, Shirley, because men, Hey, there are some men out there who are just rocking the colors and doing, it's not just a button up with a tie and a jacket anymore. Do you work with men and women? Absolutely. I love working with men. Um, I actually, I love working with men's clothing. It's, it's, it's one of my joys. I don't get to work with as many men, but Mm -hmm. they are rocking their look just as much. They are out promoting themselves and they're doing their thing. So if you get dressed, I can work with you, you know, (laughs) I love it. I can even work with some pets. It's like, Ooh, that dog's got a nice salt and pepper. There's a nice winter cool. Let's get him some (laughs) cute clothes. I don't care if, you know what I mean? I, if, if you're out there to look good, I can work with you. I actually started my business to work with men and women who are transitioning, um, you know, from either stay at home moms or mm-hmm. from the career person, the corporate person to the entrepreneur and students, you know, students yeah. getting ready to go off to high school and college, getting ready for those interviews, handshakes right. and hellos, presenting yourself, 
You know, I've seen them come into for interviews wearing dad's too long tie and his big shirt, you know, trying yeah. to look as professional as they can. But, you know, it's uh, everybody's out selling themselves one way or another, you know, and yeah. the interview process is really key. So that was really the the catalyst for me getting into this business was to help oh everybody because I learned how to do it. I went from a yeah. Burger King soccer mom with a ponytail and a uniform to uh, the banker career. And I had to learn how to do my hair, do my makeup and get yeah. dressed and look professional every day. That's and so that true. Led me that led me on this path. You know, it makes me think of when you said that, because where I live, it's a huge military town. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of guys and gals who've been in the military for the last, you know, 15, 20, 20 plus years. Absolutely. And their sole wardrobe has been a uniform and boots That's and it. a hat. Yeah. And so then they retire, they're going into the workforce and they literally have no idea what to wear. So if somebody wanted to work with you, Shirley, how could they reach you? Yeah, I have a website. It's uh, U-N hyphen improved. So it's a twist on you and improved. Okay. And I'm sure you'll get that information out to your viewers. But um, I would love to get somebody set up with a 15 minute free consultation, ask all their questions about what color can do for them and what path they're leading if it's for personal or professional or branding. I love color. And I think it just makes a world of difference for everybody. Y'all heard it here first. This is what I heard what she said. First of all, don't worry about the information. It is going to be down in the description below. But did anybody else hear free? Ooh, That's what I heard. Word. Free. She's going to do a free consultation for you. So definitely reach out to her. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And if you or someone you know has an inspiring story, an engaging topic, or a small business that needs to be highlighted, go over to our website at faithonfriday.com and send us a message. Shirley, my friend. Yo, here comes. Before I let you go. <laughs> So we got to play our game. So the game is called This or That, and I'm going to give you the choice of two things. And you, my friend, off the top of your head, just decide which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? Let's do it. Let's do this. Flowers or plants? Flowers. Hotel or tent? A hotel. <laughs> you why'd you say it like that with the attitude? Oh, unless it's glamping, we can do glamping, but we, we uh, no. This, I mean, this uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Water park or amusement park? Oh, both. Water. Okay. No, I love both, but really? I'll take water. Yeah. Okay. Practical joker or I don't play like that? I have a good time with a laugh. Let's do practical joke. Okay. Candlelight or moonlight? Moonlight. Mm. With, again, with the attitude. Shirley, what's happening right now? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Okay. Planner or I make it up as I go? Fly by the seat of my pants. That's my girl. Go all day or I need a nap? Go all day. All right. When you're talking, is it pecan or pecan? Oh, pecans. Okay. When you first meet someone, what do you notice? Their eyes or their smile? Their smile. Okay. And are you a words of affirmation person or an acts of service kind of girl? Uh, I would say words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. I can see that about you. And yeah. finally, what would you tell your 13 year old self right now? It just gets better. Mm. Write it out. It just gets better. I love that. That is so true. Man, we should have all told our 13-year-old self that. <laughs> right? If we'd only known. Exactly. Shirley, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me as a guest. It was a blast. It always is fun when I hang out with you. And you all, thanks so much for watching. And that's okay. There'll be more of this next week. So we'll see you next time on Faith on Friday Presents. Mm -hmm.